In this particular video, we're going over how to create a alert bar or a notification bar, or some people call it a hello bar, that is dynamically driven based on data from Webflow CMS collection. Um, and then also as part of, of it being dynamically driven, one can easily turn it on or off so that the alert bar is only visible when say you've got a holiday promotion or something else special that you want to have appearing at the top of your website. Um, and in addition to being driven by the CMS, we're going to put this in a symbol so that one can either put it on one or multiple pages on a website. So here it is, uh, just a quick example on a mock uh, website. And in this particular example, the alert bar is set to be sticky. So as one scrolls down the page, uh, it stays visible. And we've currently got that set so that that behavior happens across different device sizes, which depending upon your use cases may or may not be uh, a, good, a good idea. All right, so the different components of this alert bar. Uh, as I mentioned, it's been, it's being set as a collection item. And in that collection item, we, cr we uh, created, uh, we named it just for these purposes, announcement bar. And it consists of a headline, which is this value here, a call to action, which is some text, this whole area, is a link, so that is defined as well. We've also defined a background color, in this case black, any text color, which is, as you can see, white. And then we've also set a switch um, and labeled it active, and that allows us to turn on and off a particular alert bar. All right, so let's take a look at how this has been built. So it, it's green here to indicate that this is a symbol that since it's a symbol that allows for easy uh, inclusion on multiple pages on a Webflow site. And so we've got a div that we've labeled alert bar and we've set it to position sticky um, you don't have to do that. We dropped in a collection list wrapper, and that collection list wrapper is pulling data from announcement bars. We've added a filter, in this case, check to see, hey, we only want to display, we want to only want to um, pull alert bars that are set to active. We don't necessarily want to have multiple ones, so we're limiting to, to just showing one. And then for further criteria, we're basically just saying, hey, show us the latest one. Um, and the reason that we've got this here is that someone or some, you know, those that are managing a site may forget to turn off an old uh, alert bar. Um, and so by having this, this criteria to say, hey, look at the latest, um, we're hoping to, you know, prevent that kind of situation from happening. But the Webflow CMS is very flexible, so you could um, create your own set of criteria if, if basically going just by date doesn't work for you. So we've got our collection list, then our collection item. Next is a link block that we've set to go across the entire screen. Since it's a link block, we don't necessarily want to have, say, the headline being highlighted, so we've, we've set text decoration to be none. Then we've created another div within that that we've labeled announcement bar. Within that is a basic container, which has been used across the site to base uh, as part of the site design, and in this particular case, it has a max width of 1,200. Uh, that's to prevent the items from the 
nav bar from, or excuse me, the alert bar from going too far to the sides on very large monitors. You may need to do a different construction based on your site design. Uh, then we've got next this announcement wrapper, which has been set to flex horizontal. You may want to have a different particular layout. You may want to have your headline and call to action centered, for example. So you'd uh, change these settings here. And then there's the announcement message and the announcement link. The link is a bit of a misnomer here. That probably should have been uh, like CTA or call to action. And on each of these, we've uh, set some settings uh, related to styling. So the headline, don't, don't want to have underlined. But our call to action, in this case, we do want to have underlined to help let people know uh, that if they click on this, that, that uh, something will happen. Again, you may want to change that based on your overall site design. That may not fit. And each of these uh, text blocks is pulling information from the Webflow CMS. We also created a class that was to handle the no items found. Uh, and we named it hide. We set display to be none. This is for examples where you don't have any no notifications displaying and you don't want to have the generic um, no items found message being displayed. And so since I've got this highlighted, you can see that the alert bar went away. That is, in a nutshell, creating a alert bar that is pulling data from the Webflow CMS and that is set to sticky so that it follows your user as they scroll up and down the page. For, a written, for written information on how to set this up, visit iheartnocode.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.